Hello, my water signs. Welcome to your weekly element reading. And this is going to be focusing on all of my cancer signs, my Scorpios, my Pisces. So this is going to be the reading for you for this week. Um, and when I was preparing for this reading, really got the energies about this next coming week is all about self-love, understanding yourself, recognizing the beautiful, powerful, amazing you um, this week. So a lot of things are going to be um, coming this week just to show you about how amazing you are. Um, and so I was drawn to these Power Thought Cards by Louise Hay. So we're going to see from the creator what they would like you to know about the amazing you. Created for our water signs, what would you like them to know about themselves for this week? Okay. Anything else? Okay. Okay, so these are your two messages. You have, I balance my masculine and feminine sides. And I will read that. It's two far away from me for this card that says the masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony i am at peace and all is well so that is beautiful and you also have i trust my inner wisdom that one says as i go about my daily affairs i listen to my own guidance my intuition is always on my side i trust it to be there at all times I am safe. So beautiful. I love the messages for this for you. So first of all, we all have divine masculine and feminine within us, regardless of what gender we are or what we identify as. And so, you know, beautiful um, balance this week between the heart and the mind, you know, those two sides. Um, and it's just this beautiful harmony, like it mentioned here. And because of that, you can trust your inner wisdom. You're not um, going all um, brain, you know, with your brain and being a water sign, of course, you are very much comfortable with connecting to your intuition and your gut feelings and all of that. So it's a beautiful um, balance between that for this week. Because, you know, sometimes I know I have a ton of water in my chart, including um, a moon in Pisces. And so I can, my emotions in my past can really uh, get the most of me and to where I make decisions emotionally um, instead of balanced you know <laughs> I, I also am an Aquarian son so I, I can be totally in my head too much too so I understand that this beautiful balance between the brain um, and the heart um, is a beautiful place to be because that's where wisdom sits, right? Not in the extremes, but in the balance of this beautiful, um, you know, cohesion that's there. So a, a beautiful week to have this balanced feeling and things just come very easy um, for us during this week because this, you know, you have this wisdom that just feels so, like those flowers just feel so natural um, to us. <clears throat> We're going to pull some cards here from the Everyday Tarot and to see what additional message the Crater had for all the water signs for this week. And one more time. Alright, Crater, what else do you want the water signs to know for this week, please? And anything else, please. Okay, that one and that one. Alrighty, so you've got the Emperor. <clears throat> so the Emperor is really, um, for this reading, is all about the mind, the masculine side the ruler that comes up with all the, the supposed to's, the shoulds, the need to's, societies, you know, roles that are saying, yes, this is how it can be. And that's about control and controlling. So that is just emphasizing the, the masculine side here. Let's see. <clears throat> yep. And the nine of wands, 
here. This is showing you that you're the only one that's standing in between um, you and what you're um, you know, trying to head toward. And so don't give up. You're about to remove this obstacle here, or this obstacle is about to be removed. You see that, that hand on that one. When you do that, then you have enough space that you walk through it. Right now you might be feeling, have been feeling blocked and feeling like you're um, not able to move forward or forward movement has been restricted. Um, and just know that that's gonna be changing here. Um, that the answers will come, you know, with this wisdom and this balance that you have, it's like, that's okay, don't give up. Continue to take steps forward, just knowing that um, everything's unfolding for you and that you, um, you know, that the delay and the slowness is designed um, for a situation. It's almost like I had this um, flash in my head of one of the Indiana Jones movies where it's like, take a step forward and stop, and then this blade goes, you know, whoosh, whoosh, and then you take another step forward, and then whoosh, 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 and it's that delay keeps you from getting sliced in half. And so that's kind of the, the feeling. It is like it's happening for you. So just know that. <clears throat> and you got the Eight of Wands, which represents the energy of quick movement and messages are going to be coming for you. So just know that um, the delay happens for a reason, but then, um, like, like uh, the example they gave me, you stop, it goes whoosh, whoosh, and you take two quick steps and then whoosh, whoosh, and then quick steps. Whoosh, whoosh. So just know that it's this balance between trust your gut and, and the wisdom that comes like, okay, stop. Okay, go. Okay, stop. Okay, go. And, and just trust that. And then you have the seven of swords. So really focus on your own beliefs, what's going on with you. Um, these opinions and all this stuff that's coming from the outside. Um, don't trust those. Um, don't take on those as your own. Trust your intuition and your knowledge and your beliefs and stuff that you have here. So what you have in hand already is enough to get you where you're going to go. Um, and don't um, take on these other worldly opinions and thoughts and beliefs and suggestions. Trust your gut. Trust your wisdom. Um, you know, these other ones are like, no, those are, that is just going to confuse you if you um, try to take on um, all those extra stuff. It's like in this week, it's okay just to say, okay, I appreciate your opinion. Thank you. I'll take into consideration um, and then just put those to the side. Um, so unless your gut tells you, yes, that's that's my answer I've been looking for. But um, for the majority of you, because this is a general reading I'm hearing, um, put a pause on that. You know, that's like a pause button, right? Two lines. <laughs> put a pause on those thoughts and um, focus in on what you do know already um, inside. In the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, again, this is about um, the only knight out of the four knights in the deck that are all about focus on um, the moment. Don't rush forward. Just take your time allowing things to unfold as they are designed. And that's how it works, right? You uh, plant seeds, they grow, you water them, you weed them, you know, take out the weeds. Um, you, you know, um, give it nutrients and then harvest comes. And that's uh, about the process here. It's like, trust the process. Just know everything's unfolding and growing the way it's supposed to. Um, and just, you know, get out of your head um, and look for that balance here. We're going to end the reading with pulling some cards here from the Chakra Love deck here to see what the final messages the crater has for all my water signs. So, crater, what would you want the water signs to know as well about this coming week, please? Okay, crater, what do you want the water signs to know for this week? Patience <laughs> is is what it is. <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's taking time for the cards to come out. So be patient. 
See, things unfold as they are supposed to. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so you got love. Love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. So beautiful. I love that, that, you know, when it's like, um, when you're unsure of what the next move is or the actions you do take as you're going along, let love be the action. You know, within situations, ask, where's the love in this situation? Where's the love in my actions? Um, and in doing that, that is what's going to just make this just a wonderful um, feeling instead of this restrictive feeling. Just let the love flow. Um, be in the moment. Um, spread love. It's the heart chakra. And the um, crystal or stone is, is that rhod rhodonite. Rhodonite. R-H-O-D-O-N-I-T-E. So if you're into crystals, then that is the one for you. <laughs> yep, and here you go. Trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Third eye and the tourmaline is the crystal with that and as this one said right trust i trust i trust my intuition <laughs> so great confirmation there and creativity use creativity to transform your pain into positivity this is your throat chakra um, and amazonite is the the crystal for that yeah definitely um, when you come from a place of love and you're not putting this pressure on yourself, that creativity flows out. Um, and like it was talking about, um, you know, you um, are getting this um, information from a higher source of knowledge that is very creative, of course. And so um, with the steps that you're taking and the decisions that you're making and this journey that you're going on this week, allow that creativity to connect, allow, trust your intuition, focus on love. And that just brings out, brings you out from all the noise of the chaos of the storm going on around you to the eye where there's this place of peace, this place of joy, this place of creativity, um, where you find new ways to express that love that you are. So a beautiful, beautiful week coming here for you. Just, it's about patience. It's about trusting the creator. Everything happens for you and in divine, perfect timing. And just know as you go throughout every day of this week, you are indeed unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And I love you too. We'll talk to you soon. You take care now.